Welcome back to the show. We've got children's author Kimberly Worthy with us now. Her books encourage children to use poetry to overcome bullying and other obstacles they may face. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us what inspired you to write the book Poetry is not just rhyming. Well, what inspired me to write poetry is not just rhyming. It's my love for poetry. I was bullied as a child. I was very, very shy. So I began to write down my thoughts and feelings, and they become, became poems. So I figured children today, they need an outlet, something positive. And that's what inspired me to write this book series. So really just putting their feelings down on paper. Yes, pen to paper. So uh, tell us about Poetry is Not Just Rhyming. Well, I actually have two volumes. The first one, we go over 17 different concepts of poetry. And we start at alliteration, sim canes, and go all the way to onomatopoeias. And it basically just teaches the foundation of how to construct a poem. Mm -hmm. So I follow up that book with volume two. Now, volume two takes place in a recreation center. And it's kind of like a make or my own life. I was a child at a recreation center. And the children talk about different issues they're facing, bullying, and some are not doing well in school. Mm -hmm. And we teach them how to use poetry as a way to express those feelings. Good. So ha have you been able to identify the problems that, that kids are facing? Because I know you mentioned bullying mm -hmm. and, and some other issues. Yes. Well, I regularly teach creative writing workshops. And children, they open up to me and they let me know the issues of today. And just recently, I just had a focus group. Mm -hmm. And it was for preteens and young teens. And some of the issues they face are like foreign to me because when I was growing up, we didn't have the internet and cyberbullying. Certainly do deal with a lot more than we did. They did, they do. And they really just tell me what's going on. And I use that as inspiration for my writing. Do you feel like some of the kids are like, well, why am I writing something down on paper when I could be texting or typing yes. into a computer? Mm -hmm. In my poetry classes, texting and typing does not exist. We got, we're going to use a pad, tablets, and we're going to write things down. I let them know writing is therapeutic. I don't care how much you text or how much you can put it on a computer. Pen to paper, something about that, it releases an energy, and I teach them that. You also have a pilot that you've uh, created, a tel television yes. show. Tell me about mm -hmm. that. Well, the show is called Poetry in Life, and it's actually based off poetry. It's not just rhyme in volume two. And it takes place in a recreation center as well. And children, they come in and talk about their issues, and I teach them different ways to express themselves. Mm -hmm. Because poetry is not just rhyming. It's anything that's positively expressing your feelings, whether it's dancing, singing, rapping, poetry. Putting your feelings in words and expressing yourself yes. freely. So how can people learn more about your show or maybe purchase your books? Yes, well definitely um, go to my website, KimberlyDWorthy.com. Everything for me is my name. So you can go to Twitter, Facebook, all that's Kimberly D. Worthy, or PoetryInLife.com will tell you everything you need to know about the show. Also, you can find uh, a link to uh, the focus group. Yes. Mm -hmm. On YouTube. Yes. So if they search your name, will they be able to find that? They definitely will. Mm -hmm. All right. KimberlyDWorthy.com and also PoetryAndLife.com. What's your next big thing? Well, actually, I'm working on another television show where I go out and I interview people that deal with children. You know, whether we're talking about a firefighter that saves children, a teacher that teaches children, just a show that's showing positive um, influences that children deal with every day and people that help encourage those positive influences. All right, KimberlyDWorthy.com. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Great books.